everybody, I know, long time no see, but I am back with protective hair, no less, and I want to tell you I am back into makeup. Can you believe it? Well, at the beginning of November, actually the end of October, I got an email from Sephora, as I'm sure many people did, about their new makeup classes, and so far they've had two different ones. The one I just missed was Amazing Holiday Eyes. I don't know. It's later in the video I have it. I cannot remember the name of that one for anything. But the first one I went to was called Standout Eyes. I got the email and they were like, oh, Sephora classes, blah, blah, blah. And I thought they were talking about the, or hyping up, I guess I should say, again, the walk-in services that they'll do for you if you go in and it's, they'll show you how to do a lip gloss or show you how to do an eyeliner move or whatever. But no, these are literally like full-fledged classes. And they're two hours long, but they're free. So I went ahead and signed up because there were evening ones that started at 7, but then they were not till 9 o'clock. I wasn't doing that during a weeknight. They had some on Saturday and some on Sunday. So I went to a Saturday morning one. And what's so funny is that when I signed up for the Saturday one, I was just kind of like... Hmm. Saturday morning came and for some reason it didn't dawn on me until my alarm went off that I was having to get up at the exact same time I had to get up to go to work. So as I lay there, I'm like, do I really want to go to this one even though I had RSVP'd? Then I decided, well, you know, go. It might be amazing. And I am so glad I did because it totally flipped the switch again for me in being in love with makeup and wanting to play with makeup and wear makeup again. It was so fun, especially if you love makeup, you are going to have a stroke if you go to one of these classes. Well, not a literal stroke because then you wouldn't be able to apply makeup, but you are going to have an awesome time. So the first one I went to, and I have a couple, I don't want to be sitting there taking pictures, taking pictures. So I took a couple of pictures that I'll put up now. You went, there are several in Chicago you can go to. I picked State Street, that's most convenient for me to go to, so I go... You were supposed to get there about 10 to 15 minutes early. It is in the, uh, not Lot 21. Oh my goodness, I cannot think of the name of where it is. It's a, not a freestanding Sephora. It's like in a little mall downtown. It's their State Street store. Gal gallery, Gallery 37, in the Gallery 37 building. So the mall was open but none of the other shops were open at this time Sephora didn't even open until 10 o'clock so they were opening an hour ahead of time so you know I and several other girls were out sitting on a bench in front of the store so one of the girls from the from Sephora stuck her head out and was like oh you guys here for the class so you go in they check your name off from your reservation and they had some little pastries cookies they had orange juice for us so then they had all these chairs set up at the front of the store, of course the, the store is closed, so there was a counter and it was, it looked like the counter that they have at the express services, but it was near the front and honestly I don't go in that Sephora enough to know how much they move the furniture around for this, but there was a place for her to sit her model for the day that she was demonstrating the things on and then there were a bunch of chairs set up and I honestly think that there were about... 10 women there. There were like 15 chairs. So I'm not the only person who thought about not coming. But these people didn't come. So I don't know how strict they are on the RSVP, but I, I, they wouldn't have put out that many chairs if they weren't anticipating that many people. But anyway, so there's the audience of the chairs so that you could, everybody got a seat. And these were on your seat. This says brush up your technique, five essential beauty looks to master now. So it was a little book and it was what it was called standout eyes. So what it was, it was to take your day eye to a night eye without having to reapply your makeup. So that's what the class was. So then, you know, they gave us these, the what you call it, face charts and you could take notes, which I did. So the first part of the class was her demonstrating the day eye. So she did that and then, you know, you could ask questions and that kind of stuff. So that was about, I'd say, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Then we got to go over and they had set up these areas with all this makeup and the eye makeup remover and stuff for us to use to do the day look on ourselves. And then... 
they moved all those chairs and stuff and cleaned up because the store was about to open because a half hour in it was time for us to try it and then um, we go over to try it and after we had finished trying it you know they came around because it was like six girls who worked there and then plus the girl who was basically like running the standout eyes thing so they went around and checked us and then we all convened again and she used the model again to demonstrate how to take your day look to a night look so then she showed us that and then everybody got to go back and turn their day look into a night look. And so at the end, they gave us little cards with a little deluxe sample on them. It was some eye cream that I don't know what to do with it. Um, because it was just a packet. <clears throat> so I guess it wasn't a deluxe sample, was it? But it was some eye cream and a little card to take a survey that was specifically about the classes. So I did do that because I really enjoyed myself, like talking to the other people there and just being immersed in all of that makeup. And then the makeup they have for us to practice on ourselves, of course, is the, you know, laying home, you know, Dior, Urban Decay palettes, like all of that, the, the eyeshadow, the liners, the mascara. It was awesome. I had a ball, an absolute ball. And so I really wanted to take another class. So you need to check though for the classes and when the classes are being taken because are being given because they fill up really fast and then they're closed and you can't get to any of them so that's what happened to me with the holiday eyes I missed it so right now I'm going to show you how to sign up for the um, holiday eyes no sign up for any of the classes where to go to check for any of the classes so right now it's gonna I'm gonna show you that on the computer where you can go to click click on to find that stuff out so you just follow the steps that I'm about to show you to check and I say check about twice a week hopefully in your city they're doing this because they're not doing it in every Sephora that's one of the main things the girl told us she said please go take this survey because this is a test and we're trying this out to see how people like it to see how many people sign up you know to decide whether or not we're going to continue to do it so hopefully your city is there. If not, I'm sorry. But if your city is there, please sign up so they'll keep doing it. I think you will really love it. So right now, watch this short video I made on how to sign up for the classes. Right now, I'm going to show you how to navigate your way to find out what classes are being offered at the Sephora near you. Now, unfortunately, there aren't any being offered here in Chicago right now, so there's not going to be anything listed, but this is how you get there to check. And you want to check on a regular basis. I missed my last chance to do a second class because I stopped checking, and I was checking like every other day. And they had a holiday eyes class a couple of weeks ago, and I missed it. So you want to keep checking. So here's the Sephora homepage. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And you're going to click on store locations and events. This is going to take you to this page. You're going to scroll down to where it says visit the beauty studio. Then you're going to click classes up here or you can scroll to the very bottom. But you want to click classes. So here it is. Classes available by appointment. Apply yourself. Take free classes at Sephora and learn how to be your own expert. So extraordinary holiday eyes is the one that I just missed. The one I took was Standout Eyes. So you're going to look for your location. Like I said, they're not everywhere in every Sephora. The girl at the store told us that. She said they're just testing this out to see how it is and whether or not they're going to offer it on a regular basis, you know, all the time. So I would click, oops, I would click State Street because that's my preferred first place I would want to go. And then, of course, there's the location of the store, hours of operation, and so then there's enroll in a class. Now, here, upcoming store events and classes, there are none, but this is where they would be. And this is where you would click on the name, pick a date or time, and set up your RSVP online. So that's how you do it, and this is where you want to check on a regular basis. I would say twice a week would not be a bad idea to check it that often to see if they are offering any classes and then you can get the time that you want to get. Okay, so now you know how to go and how to check to see if um, they're having the classes, if they're even having the classes in your city and when they might be having them. 
as you saw in the video right now, there are no classes up currently. So hopefully they'll have something up after the holidays for the new year, maybe to encourage people to start their new year with makeup or something. I don't know. But um, I'm really kind of ticked off I missed the holiday class. But now I know to continue to check and check on a regular basis. Now the other thing I'll say is that taking this class... When I took the class, at that point, I didn't have a vanity set up anymore, really, because I had moved some stuff around, and I have so much more stuff now in my office where I'm filming right now, and I didn't have a vanity set up in here, so I didn't even have any place to apply my makeup, really, so I had just kind of gotten out of the habit of makeup. So that class just totally reignited that flame, and... Then what I decided to do was set up a vanity. So I needed some more tips and ideas of maybe non-traditional vanity setups. So where did I turn? Of course, YouTube. So I literally spent a week watching makeup vanity tours, makeup collections on YouTube. That is when I came across Pink Soul Foxy. And I will link to her in the description bar. Some of you are probably already watching her. But I found her... Uh, makeup collection vanity tour and you know how it is you stumble across somebody's video by accident and then you're like oh let's not think this person's kind of cool I'm gonna go see what other videos they have that's how it works so I go to her channel and what she is doing currently or well currently at the time because now it's December and this was before <laughs> in October but she was totally into purging her collection getting rid of stuff she wasn't using anymore cleaning stuff out reorganizing and, well, I didn't have as much stuff as she had. I did have a lot of stuff because buying makeup is fun. It is. You want every new thing that comes out. You want to try everything. And you tend to not throw stuff away. I always had no problem tossing mascara. Like, no problem at all. Even though I love mascara, I've totally let that go. But eyeshadow, no way. Like, I was, I felt, it was, I was, an, I have an eyeshadow problem. I love eyeshadow. It's my favorite thing. I think everybody that's into makeup has a favorite thing that they buy. For me, it's eyeshadow. And I just had tons and tons of it. Cheap stuff, kind of expensive stuff. And I was just keeping all of it, even though I wasn't wearing it anymore. And that makes no sense. And she really encouraged me to get rid of it. So... While watching her videos, I did a lot of my purging and cleaning and creating of my vanity. And I also lucked up and I found this amazing tutorial about this young woman whose name is escaping me right now. And she showed how she covered the fronts of, or I guess I should say the insides of her Sterilite drawers to make like these matched sets. So that's what I did. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you my vanity setup, which is where I'm sitting right now filming this. And I am so excited about it. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for me right now. I am really hoping this video is showing not too bad. I feel like I'm totally washed out, but I can't figure out any other way. Like, this is with the lights off, and I feel like I'm coming across as blue or way too dark. This is natural daylight coming in here now, and this is with my lights. So, I don't know. This is just a test. I hope this color isn't too off because I'm not filming this again. <laughs> but I hope this video isn't too hard to watch. But, yeah. So, this is my new filming area, set up area. And I'm going to show you a tour of it right now. So, you can see where I am doing my makeup right now and how I'm organizing things. It's not a total makeup collection video, though. I'm not going through every single drawer and showing you everything that is in each drawer. If you guys want to see that, let me know. And I will do that, but it's not. It's just kind of an overview. I talk about some stuff, but definitely not everything that is in every drawer. Just showing you where everything is. Okay, here we are. That is my little makeup desk right there in my office. It's actually a dresser. And what I did was the bottom part of the dresser where the drawers would sit, I... Loosen the screws on the side, flipped it up, and that's the white part you see right there. Then, behind that is some scrapbook paper that I just covered the back of the dresser with because it was a, you know, it was just the inside of the drawers, the dresser. Got rid of all the drawers, and now it's a desk. It is perfect because it's a nice small size, and honestly, I didn't want to buy anything. I wanted to try and repurpose something. 
So if you've got an old dresser sitting around, take the drawers out and see if you can repurpose it into a desk. I've got three of the three drawer sterilized containers, the, the narrower, narrower <laughs> ones that are more narrow. Can't get that word out. I've seen some and they are like super wide, but I don't have really wide ones. And I have three of the smaller ones and one's up there. Now they're all covered, at least these, with the same scrapbook paper. This wonderful woman on YouTube made this amazing tutorial, which I will link in the description bar underneath this video. You have to go watch it if you want to do this. Her tutorial is way better than anything I could ever explain to you. But all that is is scrapbook paper and I cut it to fit. I love the way this looks. It pulls everything together. Everything looks so nice and neat. It is so much better than being able to see into the drawers. Especially since my little desk thing is white, like it all matches. Now I had, I did it the first time. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. I did it after I watched the tutorial, but I used different scrapbook papers. Even though I thought the scrapbook papers were pretty. I discovered I hated that. This looks way better with everything matching, so it's up to you. I ran out of paper, so these two, I just found some darker brown to match this, because this is like a brown and cream. But, yeah, love that idea. I think it looks great. So, I'm going to sit down now. Oh, one more thing. These are my lights up here. So, they're clamp-on lights that you get at the Home Depot or whatever. I got to get some ice cream bulbs, though. I'm going to go do that today. This is just some old plastic from um, Walgreens that's really supposed to be a placemat. And then clothespins holding that and letting the air circulate behind it. But those ice cream bulbs don't get hot. So that's what I got to go get. So there are two of them. That's what I used to do my makeup as well as film with. So... I want to show them now because once I turn them on, I'm not going to be able to show them anymore. Now, here is a Christmas light turn-on switch. Wait, I got to get my chair. This is a Christmas light switch where you can just press it with your foot and turn it on. So, that is what I use to turn on and off my lights. This is just a bag from Bath & Body Works that I put another plastic bag in for my garbage. So here's the top of my little vanity. I've got a mirror there, obviously. This is a recent Urban Decay palette that I just bought. This is where I keep my everyday makeup. Let's focusing. There we go. Okay. So eyebrow stuff, um, tweezers, lip stuff. This is actually a skincare sample from Sephora. Uh, clean and clear makeup remover, which I'm almost out of. I want to cry. Eyebrow stuff here. Um, eyeliner, mascara is usually up there, but I just tossed a couple. Hand sanitizer. This is actually all of the lipstick I own. I don't have a lot of lipstick. This is it. Four. No, eight. This is my um, Black Opal uh, Invisible. What is this? Invisible Oil Blocking Powder. So I put that on over my makeup. This is my makeup Revlon Color Stay in. This is not focusing. Revlon Color Stay in... Sorry, you guys. Mocha. This is a primer that I just tried today and I do not like. I usually use a face primer. I'll try it here. If I have a Sephora sample, I'll put it right here. Otherwise, it's over in the drawer on the side. My Urban Decay Primer Potion. So that everything I use all the time, every day, goes in there. Here are all of my face moisturizing brushes. These are for the eyes, these two, and then this is for my face. Now, there used to be a woman on YouTube here. She never touched her face with her hands, and she always mixed everything up on one of those um uh steel makeup mixing trays or something, and I thought it was so weird and so OCD. But then when I went to that Sephora class, the woman said, "You should put on your eye cream with a concealer brush cuz you know your hands are too rough." So I was like, okay, so I found some foundation brushes, concealer brushes, and I have been using, this is the one I use on my cheeks. I use Alpha Hydrox Moisturizer on my chin and on my forehead, but on my cheeks, that's too much. It dries them out too much, so I just put regular moisturizer on my cheeks, and this is what I use. I actually use my hands to apply the rest of the Alpha Hydrox, so. And then I use this for my, these for my eye cream, like underneath and on my lids. So that's that. Here, 
face brushes. All of my face brushes are not in here because I just applied makeup to make this video. So some of my face brushes are in the tray waiting to be washed. But that's an extra powder brush. Here are all of my eye brushes. Why do I have so many? Because sometimes I use like three eye brushes depending on how many colors I'm using to apply shadow. And I don't use the other side. I like to use a clean brush. This is my smudge brush. I love this brush so much. It is... Uh, in a, um, what do you call it? Look, it's worn off. Studio Tools from Target. I have had it for like eight years. Probably longer than that. This thing never fails me. I love it. But these are my eye brushes here. Face cream and eye cream. And in this top drawer is random stuff. This is actually really just random stuff that didn't fit anywhere else. I'm not going to go over every single thing. If you guys do want to see that... Then I'll show you in another video. This is primers and face powders. This is the primer I have been using if I don't use a sample from before. The Black Radiance Complexion Perfection. It's okay. Just basically using it up. This last one is all eyebrow stuff. Extra eyebrow stuff. And this Urban Decay palette I got on Black Friday. It is actually the Book of Shadows Volume 4. And they had extras in Nordstrom Rack. It was 28 bucks. Very happy to get that. So, here are the three main makeup containers. And there's a little in these two. This is all of my makeup. I have pared down from, what, one extra overflow container like this. Plus, I have also thrown out a lot. So, right here is the basket of extra that I am tossing. My mother and sister have been through this and they've cleaned out a little. And there was also a bag of stuff. Not a big bag, but a a small, a Bath and Body Works size bag, the little one like that, of stuff that had spilled or broken. This stuff is going in the trash, maybe because a lot of it is really old on top of the fact that um, most of it, well, actually all of it, has been used. I personally wouldn't feel comfortable giving this to a woman's shelter or somewhere else because it's just too old and it's all been used. My mom and sister took what they wanted and the rest is going to get tossed. But as I looked, went through this and looked at it, I realized that most of the stuff I had used once or twice, I was just done with it and I just did not need it. So, going in the garbage. So what is left is the stuff that I truly love, that I truly use, that I truly want to use again. So I'm just going to show you what it is. If you want to see any drawers more in depth, just let me know in the description box. So up here first, my HIP shadows. I love those. I'm never giving those up. And yes, another drawer of hip shadows and the lip glosses, which I might not ever use, but I'm not tossing. And a hip mascara that I wouldn't use anymore either, but I'm not tossing. I'm just keeping it. It is just, I just love that brand and that line. And to me, that was when I first got into makeup. So it's just part of my collection. Here are all of my bronzers and highlighters, as well as hip bronzers and highlighters, which is still good. And I only use a couple of them. I got as many as I could. And I love these from Milani. The next set, these are all of my Wet n Wild palettes. Now I have the... All three of the first eight pans, then the three pans, these are individual ones, and then these are the main six pan palettes that came out, and those are the holiday ones. Second drawer, these are some of the Too Faced Galaxy Glam Shadows, Physicians Formula, Maybelline, Maybelline, and is that Revlon? And one Revlon Color Stay palette. This is random. The random drawer. The drawer with stuff that doesn't match or fit anything else. So a bunch of stuff is in there. This is my extreme HIP collection. I think I brought every, bought everything from that product line. And I do mean everything. The cream shadow paints, the lip glosses, the liners, the cream shadow sticks, the coal liners, uh, a couple of blushes... Those little marker stick things, loose powders, just, I have everything. This is my palette drawer, mainly Urban Decay palettes and one Heidi Klum, which I love. Palette's awesome. And the last drawer is brushes. And I actually tossed out some brushes. I did clean all of these before Thanksgiving, so every one of them has been washed. So that's all my brushes. Now under here, 
This is a Too Faced palette that doesn't fit anywhere else and I don't want to throw out yet. Clorox wipes to clean off the dresser. Q-tips. Cotton pads for taking off my eye makeup. Baby wipes. I actually mainly only use those to wipe off the makeup from the back of my hand when I put it on the back of my hand in the morning um, to apply it to my face. I really don't use these for anything else. I used to take off my makeup with them, but now they just leave lint everywhere. I don't know. I don't like them. So these I got. I usually have some regular face wipes. This is what I'm using now. I got these during Black Friday. You got these and some um, nail polish removers for $10. I like these. They smell really nice. These are supposed to be $12 a package. I would not pay $12 for these, though. Uh, my, what is this? My, what do you call it? Not apron, but not bib. This goes around my neck and over my shoulders while I'm applying my makeup. I don't, cape. I don't know what you would call it. Um, here, this is mascara stuff. That is empty. And empty. I'm surprised. I thought I had more stuff down here. And this is... What? Oh. So, four samples. Loose Pigment Collection. And these are all of my pencil liners. Now, I threw out... Oh, my goodness. I threw out so many pencil liners. I have decided that I don't like pencil liners. And for some reason, I was just buying them. Mainly because I think they're the cheapest... Some One of the cheapest things you can buy. So, they're 99 cents. So, why not pick up a couple? But I've just discovered I love liquid liner pens. I love them. And that's what I'm going to continue to purchase. So, and I don't actually use a lot of colored liner. So, for me, it doesn't make any difference. So, I only kept... These are the um, Wet n Wild ones, which are really nice. A couple of really expensive ones I've gotten for being a blogger, and they just sent for free, like an Elizabeth Arden one. And then every Urban Decay one that I have gotten in a palette, because they're really nice too. And all oh, my sharpeners are in there. So I'm not going to toss those. So that is it. That is where I put on my makeup. I am loving this setup right now. I have a new camera, so I might have to change some things around, especially like right here. I think I'm going to have to take one of these and put it up there to set the camera on. So then I just have to rearrange some stuff. But I love this setup. You don't need a lot of space. You, It's nice to have a lot of space, of course, because then you can, like, spread everything out. But otherwise, you know, you just... This forces you to have your essentials right there and to not to have a lot of junk. I am much happier with this. I can see everything. I know where everything is. Everything is going to get used. And I'm not going to miss what I threw out at all whatsoever. All right, that is going to do it for this Makeup Monday. I have a special treat for anybody that goes and visits my blog. It is a short video showing you what is in my makeup bag for this week. I change my makeup bags every week. And I usually only switch out a few things. Basically, the lotion, lip gloss, and hand sanitizer. The rest of the stuff is kind of staples, but I might change those brands every once in a while. So if you would like to see what is in this makeup bag, head on over to homespellgoddess.com and I'll show you the inside of it and tell you a little bit more about it because it is my makeup bag for the week. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.